we so often forget that most people have not been exposed to the paradigm shift that libertarians are so used to operating exactly. in. Like, yeah. the, the, the whole equation of coercion is not something that most Republicans or Democrats, left or right, consider. We offer something that's completely different yep. than that. Yep. And voluntarism, I think, you know, the ethical argument, that deep down most people can get that and they can understand that and agree with that. And I always find that when I'm approaching people with that first, they really seem to start to understand the rest of it. Yep. The idea of, of people being able to voluntarily decide how their life goes uh, and especially like when I do my phrasing, when I especially when I talk about economic issues, anything related to the cost of living, healthcare, housing, food, um, uh, uh, wage laws, um, student loan debt and higher education costs, all of this stuff. Basically, what they're saying, if you break down to the core of what they're saying is, holy crap, everything's getting expensive. Uh, the money I'm making is not going up. Uh, I am able to afford less and less. And I'm really worried about what's going to happen to me, uh, especially in the midst of a pandemic uh, where I, you know, if I get sick and end up in a hospital, it could ruin me financially for a decade uh, or longer. And right now, for a lot of those folks, the only people appealing to them are a group of people who helped to make that situation bad in the first place who are saying, you know, this system is rigged against you and it's not fair. We're going to tax all those people that rigged the system against you. And we're going to give you what you need because it's a human right. And then we show up and go, that's not a human right. Rights are negative and you can't, uh, you can't have a right without taking from that takes relies on someone else's uh, labor. I guess you believe in slavery, huh? Ha, I won this argument. And then we walk off and we're certain we just won something. What we won is an enemy. Someone who is worried about how their life is going to go, who votes, and who now hates you uh, and anything that you are about by extension. If instead we heard what they said, which is, I'm worried about how my life is going and something needs to change, which we agree with. And instead of having to have this argument with them, we're like, yeah, the healthcare system's a mess. Yeah, higher education's a mess. Here's why it's a mess. Who's, here's who made it a mess, and here's how we can fix it. And then understand that they're not going to go, oh my gosh, this makes perfect sense. I I totally get you now. We spend more time listening, and we also give people the grace of understanding that just like before we knew our ideas, our ideas sometimes sound insane because they're so far out of the uh, you know the Overton window or the flashcard of allowable opinion, whatever you want to call it. It's so far outside of that that it sounds kind of nuts even though it makes intuitive sense, they just haven't heard it before. So you could really just spend a lot of time listening to them, which A, allows you to hear what their concerns are so that you can message to them better, and B, allows them to have the catharsis of tell you, telling you about their issues, which also, whether they like it or not, is causing them to subconsciously bond with you so that when you start talking, they already like you more. These are just basic things that I learned in the 20 years of running a business and that any of us learn in, in you know, if we're good at reaching out to people and, and, and marketing and networking, you listen to people, you get them in on your side, and then you can take them on the journey. You cannot show up. You can't just present the most logical argument ever that is bulletproof and throw it in their face and go, these are the <laughs> facts that don't care about your feelings. Read it and weep statist bootlicker and then they go and then they go and they go oh my god that argument is the most logical thing i've ever seen i am now a libertarian i couldn't even rebut a bit of it that's not how people work it's not how you work and it's certainly not how they work